Hey, my friend, let me ask you something. Have you ever felt unsure about the anatomy down there? Maybe you're in a relationship with someone who has a vulva, or maybe you just want to understand your own body better. Today, I'm going to give you a science-based, no shame explanation of female sexual anatomy. And yes, we're going to tackle one of the most talked about, most misunderstood topics in sexual health, the G-spot. I'm Dr. Jocelyn Carter, urologist and pelvic health specialist. And in my five years of practice, I've guided countless men and couples through understanding female anatomy, pleasure, and intimacy with confidence and clarity. Before we dive in, hit like, subscribe, and comment below. Where are you watching from? I love seeing the global community learning together. Here's the truth. Female sexual anatomy is much more complex and fascinating than most people realize. Biologically, women have structures that are homologous to male anatomy, meaning many organs develop from the same embryonic tissue. Emotionally, understanding this anatomy can improve intimacy, respect, and pleasure in relationships. Practically, the more you know, the better you can communicate, respond, and enhance sexual connection. And the biggest myth? That there's a single magic spot called the G-spot that guarantees orgasm. That idea has been blown out of proportion by movies, porn, and pop culture. But there's more nuance, and it's actually amazing once you understand it. Um, in my practice, I see men who are genuinely eager to learn how their partner's body works, yet they're often confused by myths, inconsistent information, or fear of doing it wrong. The key is real understanding rooted in anatomy, physiology, and decades of research, not rumors. By the end of this video, you'll know what the G-spot actually is, why it's not the same for every woman, how clitoral anatomy plays a central role in female pleasure. Misconception number one, the G-spot is a single magic spot. You've heard of it in movies, maybe even online, but is it really a button you can push? Biologically, the G-spot isn't a separate organ. Instead, it's an area of heightened sensitivity on the front wall of the vagina, usually one to two inches in. This area overlaps with the internal clitoral network, the skein's glands, which are homologous to the male prostate. Emotionally, women may experience pleasure or even ejaculation from stimulation in this area, but not every woman does. There's no single universal spot, and that's perfectly normal. Practically, stop chasing a magic button. Instead, focus on communication, exploration, and responsiveness. Learn what your partner enjoys and adapt. You'll find the real reward is connection, not a single location. Misconception number two, the clitoris is small and only external. Most men think the clitoris is just the tiny button at the top. That's only part of the story. Biologically, the visible clitoral glands is just the tip. Internally, it extends alongside the vaginal canal with two long branches of erectile tissue, all richly supplied with nerves and blood vessels. During arousal, these tissues engorge, swell, and contract, much like a penis, amplifying sensitivity and pleasure. Emotionally, understanding this helps men shift focus from penetration-only approaches to a more inclusive, satisfying experience. Practically, incorporate internal clitoral pressure, external stimulation, and gentle massage during intimacy. Recognize that what's happening inside may matter just as much, or more, than what you see. Misconception number three, vagina alone is enough for orgasm. You've probably heard, just focus on penetration. Science says that's incomplete. Biologically, most women require clitoral stimulation, external or internal, to climax. The vagina is muscular, flexible, and responsive, but it's rarely the primary orgasmic pathway. Emotionally, men may feel frustrated if they believe length, depth, or thrusting speed are the keys. Understanding clitoral anatomy reduces performance anxiety and encourages more attentive, intimate interaction. Practically, don't rely solely on vaginal penetration. Combine external clitoral touch, internal clitoral pressure via the front vaginal wall, variation in angles, speed, and rhythm. The result, greater pleasure, satisfaction, and intimacy for both partners. Misconception number four, female anatomy is the same for everyone. Here's something that blows most people away. Female pleasure is incredibly diverse. Biologically, 
Some women have highly sensitive internal clitoral structures. Others find external stimulation most effective. G-spot responsiveness varies. Hormonal cycles, arousal state, and prior experience all affect sensitivity. Emotionally, men who assume one technique fits all risk frustration, disappointment, and tension. Knowledge encourages patience, adaptability, and empathy. Practically, approach intimacy like exploration, not a checklist. Ask questions, pay attention to feedback, and celebrate small discoveries. Misconception number five, anatomy stops at what you can see. You might think the vulva is the whole story. It's not. Biologically, beyond the external lips and clitoral glands, the clitoral hood can stick or form adhesions, causing discomfort if ignored. The internal clitoral branches wrap around the vaginal canal. The skein's glands contribute to sensitivity and sexual response. Emotionally, recognizing these hidden structures fosters respect, curiosity, and confidence. Men who learn this feel less pressure to perform and more freedom to connect meaningfully. Practically, explore gently with your partner. Focus on communication, slow touch, and consent-based experimentation. Here's how to put all this knowledge into action. Forget the magic G-spot myth. Focus on overall sensitivity, internal clitoral stimulation, and shared exploration. Expand your focus. Think beyond penetration to include clitoral branches, labia, and skein's glands. Use variation and communication. Experiment with angles, pressure, and rhythm. Ask your partner for feedback. Prioritize education over performance. Knowing anatomy reduces anxiety and increases pleasure, biological payoff, more consistent arousal, and more satisfying orgasms. Emotional payoff, confidence, intimacy, and reduced performance pressure. Practical payoff, happier sexual relationships with improved mutual understanding. Listen, men, female anatomy is complex, diverse, and beautifully designed. There's no single button that works for everyone, but understanding how the clitoris, vagina, and internal structures function allows you to improve intimacy, reduce anxiety, increase pleasure. You're not expected to memorize every detail. You just need curiosity, patience, and communication. That alone can transform your sexual relationships. If you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe, and comment below what surprised you most about female anatomy. Let's start a conversation that's open, respectful, and educational. Remember, age, inexperience, or myths are not barriers to intimacy. Small, informed steps can bring connection, confidence, and freedom back into your relationships. I'm Dr. Jocelyn Carter, reminding you, take time to learn, respect your partner's body, and approach intimacy with curiosity, empathy, and confidence. You're worth understanding and pleasure.